Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to subtract with a technique called regrouping. Regrouping is something we use only when our subtraction problem has a number with at least two digits. A digit in the ones place and the tens place. Now you can also use regrouping with um, numbers in the hundreds, thousands, up to the millions and beyond. But I'm going to teach it to you with a simple subtraction problem to start things off with. I made the subtraction problem 21 minus 7. Now I sh am showing the number 21 in picture form with base 10 blocks. I have two groups of 10 for the 2 in my 10's place and one block for the one block in my 1's place. Now 7 is a smaller number than 21 so I know I can subtract 7 from 21. But when I line up the numbers in my ones place like I'm supposed to start from the right hand side and subtract like I'm supposed to I run into a problem 1 minus 7 I don't have 7 blocks or 7 in my ones place to subtract so what I have to do is called regrouping I can't just break blocks off of these um, groups of 10 but I can move one of these over and trade them for 10 ones and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move out one of my groups of 10 and bring in 10 ones. Now I'm not done though because I have to do some work with this subtraction problem. I don't have two groups of 10 anymore. I moved one out and over. I only have one left. So when you're doing it you have to realize that since I moved one over I have one less than what I started with. I started with 2, 1 less than 2 is 1, and we can prove it by our picture. There is 1 base 10 block, 1 group of 10 there. Now instead of having 1 in my 1's place, since I brought 10 over, I have to add 10 to whatever number was in my 1's place. Since there was 1 there before, 1 plus 10 is 11. Let me count just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I can subtract. Start in my 1's place. 11 minus 7. 11's bigger, so I can take 7 of them away. With my pictures, I show that by crossing them out, since I'm getting rid of them or taking them away when I subtract. I have to cross out 7 of them. 1... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And let's see how many I have left. 1, 2, 3, 4. 11 minus 7, which you probably already knew, but I like to use the picture just to double check is 4. Now I move over to my tens place. Since the number I'm subtracting doesn't have a number in the tens place, that's like saying 1 minus 0 because there's nothing there. 1 minus 0 or 1 minus nothing is just 1 because I don't have anything over here. I don't have to cross out anything in my group in my tens place. So 21 minus 7, my answer is 14. Let me check just to make sure. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's the same as what I did when I regrouped using my numbers. So, regrouping is when one of the numbers on the bottom is bigger than the number on the top. But remember, the, number, the whole number on the top has to be bigger in order to do a subtraction problem. Well, since it was... Um, it was smaller, I had to go over and bring 10 more of them over. And since I brought 10 over, I only I had one less in my 10's place. At that point, I could subtract. And my answer is 14. I hope this was able to um, help you in learning how to um, subtract with regrouping. If you have any other questions, you can look at my other videos, subscribe, and I have other videos just about subtraction with regrouping as well. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped.